Hello and welcome to Joburg Today. I'm your host, Riley Slagani Posakwe, bringing you the 411 on what's hip and happening along your streets of the City of Gold. And today we are right here at the Lion Park, which is situated outside of the urban life of Johannesburg. It's also one of the pride and joy of the city. But now it has found a new home, which promises to be bigger and better than the one before. But before heading to the new park, on Sunday was the last day that the public were able to enjoy the original Lion Park. We spoke to them about their experiences as well as the staff to get an understanding about what goes on behind the scenes of the new relocation. Yeah, it was great. Um, basically, I wasn't expecting too much, but I guess I like came closer than I expected as well, which is quite cool um, to see, um, especially the famous lion from the movie. Um, let's see, or that, yeah, let's see, let's see. So yeah, um, it was really cool. It was really cool to see all the the lions and the cheetahs and all the different animals. I'm obviously not from here. I'm from the states, so like, we go to the zoo and see the animals. It was an amazing experience, and to see the lions and the wild dogs and the cheetahs, it's South Africans first, and it's amazing to me. It's an amazing experience, and we originally from Durban and. My parents and my sister, we all came up to enjoy this amazing scenery and the animals. It's just world class. It was nice. It was my first time at Lyon Park. And then the view of zebras, ostrich, and the lions, the cheetahs, and the wild dog. Today we have quite a few teams that are going to be working with us. We have uh, darting teams, capture teams, um, recovery teams. So um, it's quite a big process. Our veterinarian, um, Claire Speedy, who's absolutely amazing, is going to be working with the darting team. And we have our recovery team um, after that, which uh, is going to head out once the animals are sedated. Um, collect them and move them into the, the holding um, trailers to actually be transferred. Not all the animals have to be um, sedated, thankfully, only the ones that are a little bit more wild and not quite used to being uh, handled by people. So um, we have certain prides that uh, just load straight into the transportation trailers, um, whereas others are a little bit more wild and we do have to take a little bit more precaution in terms of our staff safety. So then with those, we do sedate them to move them into the transportation trailer. Well, I've just driven through the camp and assessed the sizes of all the lines and now I'm going to quickly make up some darts and then we're going to dart each one of them so that they go to sleep. Once we've darted them, it takes usually between 5 and 10 minutes for them to go to sleep and between 10 and 20 minutes for them to be safe to pick up. I was here as a, as a seven-year-old child because my mum was the first manager here when I was a kid and then I left when I was about eight, went to the UK, been around the world and come back. So it's, it's, it's pretty sad to see it being closed down, um, but we're moving on to new things and positive stuff, so it's all, it's all really good. With the well-experienced team and the lions safely asleep, the lions are well on their way to their new home. I'm Riley Sagani Posakwe for Joburg Today. With a history of over 50 years, the Lion Park brand has had to adapt to the times to remain a competitive Hauteng tourist destination. In so doing, they've not only relocated their operations, but also upgraded their facilities to go above and beyond all international standards. Joburg today had the opportunity to speak to the head architect of the designs of the new Lion and Safari Park facility, Jonathan Gimple. About 15 years ago, our client, Rodney Foy, um, bought the existing Lion Park um, as a going concern. It was a very run-down business and it was really at the edge of the town. It was very flat. There was nothing really interesting. Although he's very passionate about lions, he was never really passionate about the location. It took us a good few years to actually identify really or to really forecast uh, the most prominent place in the city. And we found a, a very, very amazing piece of land. It's uh, much bigger than the existing Lion Park and most importantly it's full of dolomite rock, which uh, is quite interesting but it's terrible if you're a farmer. We have come up with an architectural style which I think is quite uniquely African in a way where we've created these giant domes 
and very much out of natural material. So it's a thatched roof domed building. Very, very big. It's like a gigantic Zulu hut. Um, as one, one of our big building models, um, we've used a lot of natural materials, thatch. We've got a lot of open plan. We used very much uh, the architectural language within the nature that we're working with. Shanda Laurenti of Lion and Safari Park elaborates further on how the new design ties into the experience. So the new facility is a completely new take on you know, the Predator Park experience. We've tried to aim for it to be as natural as possible. We have your normal game drives that you would have done at the Lion Park, which are 45 minutes to an hour if you're on a time constraint and you need to get to the airport, you know, be able to do that. But we do have a proper safari experience that we also offer here, where we take you out into the bush, um, get you, you know, in touch with nature, you with one of our very experienced Vogaza quali uh, qualified guides. Um, and yeah, they give you a really, really awesome experience. I'm Leroy Viaggi for Joburg Today.